Hello everyone, welcome to the new video of computer network. In this video, I will be demonstrating about how to use Wireshark software to, to capture network traffic and analyze various protocols such as HTTP, DNS, ARP, ICMP, FTP and TCP. So let's start this video. So click on Wireshark software. Then once it open, it shows uh, the interface available. Here I am having Ethernet as a uh, technology through which I am connected to internet. So I can double click in front of Ethernet and start capturing or I am having an option of uh, start uh, capturing and stop capturing present at the top. So I am double clicking on uh, in front of Ethernet so that the packets will start capturing. So you can see the packets start uh, started populating here. Wireshark has three, three windows. First window shows colorful information where one line information it is showing and this uh, first part is showing uh, information such as frame number, uh, time in microsecond, then source and destination addresses, protocol, length of the packet and uh, one line information. Then the second window shows detailed information about the line or the frame on which we are clicking. Let's stop this ca capturing and analyzing the uh, protocol now. Uh, so uh, suppose I have click on the uh, frame uh, and in the below you can see uh, its information like frame number 80475 then number of uh, bytes that I have captured over on internet that is 2974 bytes on a wire and same information is available in the one line information above then once we open that frame then its information it is showing then below that uh, ethernet 2 uh, source and destination mac addresses it is showing then in the third line we can observe that it is showing internet protocol version 4 so this internet protocol version 4 the third field the third field it is showing information about the uh, ip address of source and ip address of destination you can observe it here so it is showing my pc's ip address and other pc's ip address then transmission control protocol so in this uh, line or in this frame tcp protocol is used so port number of source and destination it is showing then on the right hand side um, hexadecimal data is available this data is actually data getting transferred over internet so on the left hand side if you are clicking on any field then on the right hand side the particular uh, relevant field is getting uh, colored so or highlighted so it, this is nothing but the data which is actually getting transferred over a, a wire in the form of hexadecimal number as there are many frames available here so to analyze a particular frame we need to apply filter in the Wireshark. So at the top we have to mention the IO protocol which we are we have to analyze or IP address. So here suppose take an example I have enter ARP so it is showing all ARP packets. Now let's open the command prompt and check the IP address of our own PC. So for that I am going to write uh, IP config and hit enter. So this is the IP address allotted to my computer. So now to analyze DNS uh, packets, I'm going to ping to the uh, one of the websites. So here I'm pinging to www.facebook.com. So my PC start pinging with one IP address, which is IP address of Facebook server. So how come my PC come to know about this IP address? This will is this is possible because of the DNS server. So first of all, I will check which is the DNS local DNS server in my network. So using IP config slash all I will get DNS information. So this is my DNS address 172.16.0.1 and alternate DNS is 8.8.8.8. .8 so now in the filter I am going to apply my IP address and a DNS as a filter. So it starts showing communication between my PC and a DNS server. So you can observe it here many packets it is showing about DNS and the last two entries it is particularly re related to my PC and communication between Facebook server. Last second is a DNS query. So once we open that packet it shows a query under that query it is showing uh, the query raised by my PC uh, that is uh, what is the IP address for the www.facebook.com this is a query raised by my PC. So it is showing under that uh, query packet and it is showing information detailed information about that query 
so under query we can observe that www.facebook.com uh, so uh, total 16 characters are available so name length it is showing 16 and the label count is nothing but uh, www is a one label then facebook is another one and dot com so it is showing three labels under that query then in the second packet uh, that is dns uh, reply from the dns server so under answer it is showing the answer for the uh, ask query that is uh, my pc asked for the ip address for facebook server so it is showing ip address for facebook server as 163.70.144.35 we can observe and we can verify it in the command prompt as well now as we have used a ping command uh, so ping uses icmp protocol so uh, icmp protocol is also uh, getting captured here so that we can observe so in the filter if you are uh, mentioning the ip address of uh, facebook server then it is showing uh, the packets of icmp uh, that are uh, captured here so there are uh, packet icmp packets captured in the pair of uh, query and or request and reply so uh, for request my uh, ip address my pc's ip address is a source and the facebook's ip address is a uh, destination and vice versa in case of uh, reply so in the below uh, if you open the internet protocol uh, internet control message protocol that is icmp then it shows the request packets uh, and its information and in the second field that is reply it is showing the reply packets so we can uh, observe as well uh, the information about the packets uh, such as uh, the my pc's mac address and facebook's mac address as well as uh, my pc's ip address and facebook's ip address then on the uh, right hand side we can observe uh, the actual data that is getting transferred in the form of hexadecimal um, message uh, over a wire so uh, in this way we can capture and analyze icmp packets as well uh, with the help of ping command so now if you open all these packets such as uh, reply and request packets so it is showing information about complete icmp uh, protocol uh, and at the bottom it is showing data which is 32 byte of data used for uh, pinging then uh, we can see uh, there are total eight packets of icmp available here in the pairs uh, of request and reply so four requests four replies are available because uh, during pinging we can observe in the command prompt we are getting four replies because we our pc sends uh, four requests so we have pc gets four reply from the uh, destination so that's why uh, total eight packets we can observe here in the pairs uh, of request and reply so in this way we can analyze icmp uh, protocol uh, with the help of wireshark now let's move on and capture http packets so in the filter i am applying a packet uh, filter as http and i will hit enter and start capturing the packets so till now it is not showing anything now in the browser i have entered one http website and i have hit enter so now you can see uh, i got certain reply in the form of http packets in the wireshark so those packets i have captured now uh, in the wireshark so now in the filter if you are mentioning dns then it is showing dns packets because http relies on the dns server to get the ip address of the particular website now let us again analyze http uh, packets so you can see the frame number 30108 uh, it is a uh, http request for opening the website uh, home page and its reply i got in the frame number uh, 30556 uh, where the whole html web page uh, design web page is available uh, in the uh, second field of the wireshark so same you can observe on the website as well with right click on the web page and inspection so now let us analyze arp protocol so i am writing arp in the filter so arp protocol uh, are getting populated here so arp packets uh, are used to find the mac address of particular uh, host pc uh, for which uh, ip address is mentioned so uh, there are two packets arp request and arp reply so here in this video we are going to analyze uh, arp uh, request which is a broadcast message it shows uh, hardware type protocol type hardware size protocol size 
ऑप कोड फॉर रिक्वेस्ट एंड सेंडर मैक एड्रेस द सेंडर आई पी एड्रेस टार्गेट मैक एड्रेस एंड टार्गेट आई पी एड्रेस सो एज इट इज अ ब्रॉडकास्ट मेसेज इट शोज टार्गेट मैक एड्रेस एज ऑल फील्ड मेन्शन विद जीरोज दिस इज हाउ वी कैन एनालाइज ए आर पी पैकेट नाउ लेट एज एनालाइज फाइल ट्रांसफर प्रोटोकॉल दैट इज एफ टी पी प्रोटोकॉल एंड टी सी पी सो फॉर दैट आई एम यूजिंग बाइसन एफ टी पी एज अ थर्ड पार्टी एफ टी पी एप्लीकेशन सो आई एम डूइंग इट सेटिंग फर्स्ट सो आई हैव टू मैंशन लिसन ऑन फॉर द कनेक्शन ऑन पोर्ट नंबर ट्वेंटी वन बिकॉज एफ टी पी यूजेज पोर्ट नंबर ट्वेंटी वन एंड ट्वेंटी फॉर द कंट्रोल कनेक्शन एंड डेटा कनेक्शन देन जनरल इन दैट इनेबल सिक्योरिटी सिस्टम एंड इनी रिटर्न डिरेक्टर राइट एंड कॉन्करंट यूजर्स हैज टू देन गो टू यूजर ग्रुप and here i am just uh, checking uh, try to delete some of the uh, previously created uh, users uh, groups uh, and uh, i will be uh, disabling the allow any password and then uh, mentioning the idle timeout as 50 uh, minutes uh, so that uh, my server will not time out uh, easily uh, then in the users i am going to delete the previously created users and i will generate new user as per my choice so in this case suppose um, i am creating a user as ftp user and i am clicking on okay uh, then by default password will be the same but i am going to change it to 1 2 3 4 5 then i am uh, clicking on all logging options uh, so that server will get all the logs and then i will turn on the ftp server so these are all settings i am going to do on the uh, ftp server uh, then i will go to the ftp client this is the ftp client pc and i will uh, open the uh, command prompt and i will uh, type ftp space 127.16.7.84 which is a ip address of server so it will ask me to enter a username as i have created a user as a ftp user so uh, i have to mention that and then uh, after clicking enter it is showing user is okay enter password so i am going to enter password as 1 2 3 4 5 there are all commands i can use uh, for ftp communication now first i will check my ip address uh, allotted to my pc so this is a ip address allotted to my pc that is a client pc so in the uh, now this is the uh, log that we, uh, we can observe on the server pc so it shows uh, the number of users as one uh, and socket sats two and it is also showing the all the logs that uh, activity we have perform on the client pc that is enter username then once username is enter then it is showing the username as well and it is showing uh, the password that we have entered so all the logs it is showing Uh, which we have perform on the client pc so now in the wireshark apply filter tcp and ip address of client so it shows uh, tcp and ftp packets captured over here so first line it shows the uh, communication between the uh, client and server so client initiate a communication with the port number 50664 and it is received on uh, by server on port number 21 Uh, so under this uh, tcp uh, it shows that those both port numbers and it shows the sync packet so on the next line uh, sync packet and acknowledgement uh, that is sync and acknowledgement flags are turn on and it is a communication between uh, client uh, server and client so server replies on port number 21 similarly on the next line uh, it is show again acknowledgement packet under the tcp protocol so tcp handshake process happens here and uh, communication is established between uh, client and a server using tcp protocol so now we will uh, analyze ftp packets now to analyze ftp packet click on the uh, fourth packet and in the below uh, we can see uh, the the packet uh, ftp packet we have to open and inside that we can see response code as 220 so that we can verify on the server log so if you open a server log on that we can observe that uh, it is showing the 220 code uh, then on the next line uh, again uh, in the next packet we can see uh, the uh, opts uh, response code so that can also be verified on the uh, server so whatever server log we are getting the same is getting reflected in the uh, respective ftp packet which is captured on the uh, wireshark so that we can verify so in the next line uh, 
user name has to be entered so user name if we are entering then it is asking uh, to enter for the uh, password so username and password we can verify in the uh, ftp uh, packet capture ftp packets as well as on the server log uh, whatever server log we are getting the same is getting reflected uh, in the capture ftp packet uh, username as a ftp user and password as 12345 no, so all these packets which are being uh, communicated between the client and a server for, uh, are getting captured uh, in this uh, Wireshark and uh, all the information which is available on the uh, server log same is uh, being reflected over here. So username and password is also getting captured uh, in this case and the same we can verify with the help of server log. So in this way we can uh, capture FTP packets uh, and we can also uh, capture TCP packet as FTP uses uh, port uh, addresses and these port addresses are nothing but TCP ports. So both TCP and FTP protocols are being used in the FTP communication and that we can verify and analyze using this Wireshark uh, software. So we can conclude over here that uh, Wireshark is a important uh, software which is a network protocol analyzer and uh, which is being used to capture network traffic and analyze various protocols and in this video we have analyzed certain protocols like HTTP, DNS, ARP, ICMP, FTP and TCP protocols using Wireshark software. So uh, that's all for this video and thank you for watching.